good afternoon. And I do mean good afternoon. <laughs> First of all, let me thank uh, those of you supporters who are here today. Um, right. This has been a, uh, a special year, the last 12 months, uh, for my family and I. I'd be uh, remiss if I didn't start uh, by uh, thanking and recognizing uh, them. And that all started with my wife, Nancy. Um, thank you, Nancy. I'd also like to thank uh, my, our children. Katie is our oldest. Uh, William is our second, for those of you in Chicago, just to know that the Brady family is just not from Bloomington. <laughs> Katie is a nurse at Children's up here. Uh, William is a second year law student at DePaul, but we have kept our junior high school, uh, Duncan, uh, back in Bloomington at Bloomington Central Catholic. Uh, we are all grateful for the support that we have received um, over my entire uh, political career, frankly, but particularly over this last nine months or so. The support of all the volunteers and the, the supporters that we had who gave of their time and treasure uh, to be part of this effort. The support of the voters, who at the end of the day are the ones that counted. And I mean counted. Um, we, want to, we want to thank them. I'd also be remiss if I didn't support every candidate, Republican or Democrat, who put their name on the line in this election and every election. But I particularly would like to thank the gentleman who ran on the Republican side of the ticket for governor. I want to tell you that I viewed this from the inside, which is not always easy, is one of the most respectful, hospitable, and collegial races that I've ever seen. As you know, most of us agree on almost every issue. The most important thing being the people of Illinois. But I particularly want to thank Senator Dillard, my friend and colleague, his wife Stephanie, their family and their supporters uh, for the gracious way in the way they've handled this last 30 days. Uh, Senator Dillard and I have, about, have been friends ever since we knew each other. Uh, he is a colleague. Uh, he, he is a, a, a great uh, legislator. I, I think of none better than Senator Dillard. And it's his endorsement today that means so very much to me as we begin this new chapter, the beginning of the general election campaign here today uh, with all of you. Most of you know that my background is small business. Uh, my brother Eddie's in the audience. Uh, brother Bob is uh, back in Bloomington still working in the business uh, that we have that operates throughout central Illinois. I have been an elected official for a number of years, but I have never been a full-time politician. I have always maintained focus in family and in business, working to provide jobs for people throughout central Illinois, not just as a legislator, but as a businessman, making investments with my family about the future of this great state and the people of that area. You know, you're going to get tired of hearing me talk about what I'm going to talk about in this campaign. Because for me, this campaign is about two things. Jobs, 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 and reform, reform, reform. Mm -hmm. The people of Illinois deserve the leadership that will reform our government, that will balance our budget, and put policies in place that will foster and encourage private sector business investment so that Illinois families can keep their job and we can bring more jobs to Illinois for Illinois families. <laughs> This broken record will be trumpeted in this general election campaign just as it has been trumpeted in the primary campaign. I'm looking forward to listening to the people of Illinois in these next eight months as we move toward the general election. Politicians don't solely have a monopoly on the wealth of knowledge that we need to make this state a better state. The people of Illinois are our greatest and richest assets, and they will be the greatest and richest asset to the Brady campaign for governor. <laughs> this campaign will be about a clean break from the machine politics of the past, bringing government back to the people, not for the politicians, but for the people of this great state. <laughs> like many of us, we've been disappointed about the era of machine politics that we've seen in Springfield over the last eight years. 
I will bring a new form of leadership, a form of leadership that will balance our budget, foster and encourage private sector business investment, and move Illinois to the forefront of this nation's economy. You know, I think this campaign can and hopefully will be civil. Governor Quinn is a nice man, but there are clear and distinct policy differences between the governor and myself. He believes he needs to raise your taxes, increase the size of government, and keep things as a status quo. Our campaign will be about reducing the tax burden on Illinois families and businesses so they can invest in your private sector jobs in eliminating the status quo. Mm -hmm. I just want to say, once again, how important it's been to my family to have the support of the people of Illinois in this crusade. And I want to re-emphasize how grateful I am to all the Republican candidates who threw their hat in the ring in this election, but particularly to my good friend and colleague, Senator Dillon, his wife, Stephanie, and their children. I wish them well and I look forward to working with them as we move Illinois forward. Thank you, and God bless you all.